Hey everybody, Todd from Roadrunner Sports. Today we're doing the shoe review on the Brooks Ghost 14. And you know, if you're looking for an everyday workhorse type shoe, I think this one might be the ticket for you. So first things first, I gotta say, I had not ever 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 run in the brooks ghost series i've heard uh just amazing things especially over the last four or five years about how many people are raving about this shoe and i just haven't had the opportunity to run in it before uh so i was really excited to get to test this one and uh, i so far i really like what i've experienced um over the last couple weeks i've got about 43 miles in the shoe and uh all positive i mean there's not really too much negative i can say about the shoe a lot of positive stuff um, so let's dive right in. First, let's talk about some nuts and bolts. Uh, this is a neutral mid-level cushion shoe. Uh, so kind of, uh, if you're in the neutral category, if you're supinating or neutral, uh, this is gonna you know, uh, fit your profile pretty well. And if you're somebody that uh, you know, doesn't want or need the max amount of cushioning um, and isn't necessarily looking for that super light and fast shoe, um, this shoe could be the ticket for you. And it co that covers a, a wide range of profiles. So um, again, I, I continue to go back to that word workhorse because I feel like that's what this shoe is. It's a, it's a great everyday trainer. Uh, heel to forefoot, you're looking at about a, a 12 millimeter drop uh, from heel to forefoot. And then weight, uh, a men's size nine is coming in about 9.9 .9 ounces. So, um, you know, kind of right in that kind of middle of the road, um, uh, range for the mid-level cushion uh, shoes. Uh, okay, so let's talk about uh, first the, the things I loved about the shoe. Um, generally, I talk about fit first, and that was one of the things that really stood out uh, to me about this shoe. Um, it fits the foot really, really well. Um, so you put your foot in. The things I liked on the fit, midfoot fit was good. I felt locked in and, and that, uh, you know, my foot wasn't sliding around or anything, but in the forefoot, I felt like I had more than enough room. Um, so th that was really encouraging. And then the other thing I liked about the forefoot, if you look here, um, hopefully you can tell here in the video, you've got no seams, you've got no overlays. There's nothing that could potentially be a, uh, you know, an irritant to the foot. Everything, uh, the foot just sits in there really well and it's very, very roomy. So I like that a lot. The other thing on fit, <clears throat> um, I would almost classify this separately in fit, but heel fit um, they use this nice padded um, you know uh, heel in here and again not only did it lock the foot in really well but it was very comfortable so you know I, I noticed before I started running in, in the shoe the first time I tried it on I really felt like it was comfortable and, and it fit my foot really well so huge thumbs up there second thing I really enjoyed about this was the amount of cushioning in the shoe so um, they use in this version, I don't think it was exactly the same in previous versions, um, this DNA loft uh, midsole uh, throughout the whole, whole shoe. I think in some of the past versions, it was uh, portions of the midsole, but not the whole thing. Um, so here you've got the full gamut of DNA loft, and it is, it is a very soft and cushy ride. Um, not so like marshmallowy soft where you feel like you're bottoming, bottoming out or anything like that, but you know, just that really nice feel uh, on the road where you, you know, you've got a nice amount of cushion under your foot and it, uh, it makes the run a lot more enjoyable. The only thing I would say uh, along the lines of performance of the shoe is for me, I, I tend to gravitate towards a more lightweight uh, shoe. To me, this one was just a tad, just, just this much, just, just slightly heavy uh, for my foot. Um, but again, at 9.9 .9 ounces, you're not talking about a heavy shoe, but it, compared to a lot of the shoes I've been running in recently, this one just felt a little bit heavier. So if you are really super sensitive to weight, um, you know, maybe, you, you know, there are other shoes in the Brooks line that you could go to. Um, but again, I go back to the workhorse comment. If you're looking for something super consistent, a workhorse, everyday trainer, this one checks a lot of those boxes. Um, other things I liked about the shoe, if you need wider widths, this one does come in wide widths. There's not, a, you know, there aren't a ton of shoes out there that do. So um, for this good, you know, daily training shoe to come in wide widths, that creates uh, some good options for people that need that. And, the, you know, the last thing I would say, um, you know, for all the things I've heard about the Ghost line, 
Um, it certainly lived up to the hype for me. I, uh, again, I've had this for a couple weeks now. I'm testing a lot of different shoes. I've been pulling this out more often than some of the other ones I've been testing recently. And it's just because it delivers, it's consistent. Every single run, I know it's gonna feel good. It's gonna fit good. I'm not gonna have any, you know, rubbing hot spots, any issues along those lines. Uh, and I certainly like that. I would absolutely say this one is well worth a try. If you've never tried the Ghost Line before, I'd, I'd highly recommend you get into a store or order some online and, uh, and give it a try on because I think you're really gonna like it. Um, if you have the Ghost Line, uh, again, I can't speak from past because I haven't worn the line before, but what I can tell you is if you've had it before, I am very, very uh, confident that you would like this newest version uh, because it, it does check a lot of the boxes and it is a very, very good shoe. Don't forget, if you're VIP with us, you get 90 days to test run your shoes. If you don't like them for any reason, bring them back. We'll exchange them out for something that works better for you. And also, uh, VIPs get uh, um, free shipping. So no excuse, no reason not to give these a try, uh, especially for your VI our VIPs. And uh, again, this is the Brooks Ghost 14. I think you're gonna like it. Give it a shot uh, and let me know what you think.